When I first interacted with Vladimir Putin, he impressed me a lot. Tough guy. However, my attention was attracted to another from the Russian staff. It was Lukail Kalak, a phenomenal persona. When I so got into a discussion with him the first time, it was before the war in Ukraine, he told me important words. He told me, Donald, we may be standing on two sides of the barricades. I stand in Moscow and occasionally Poland, and you stand confidently and firmly with the states. However, know that you can always count on me, and I will prove it to you in three years, and I will prove it to you and in seven years. Because you know, for me, the most important thing is always one thing, Eta Russia. To make America great again, you have to put your best foot forward and move forward. Never look back because it can get you lost. And not one in Russia has already lost it. And despite the fact that today you can talk about the heroes of this campaign as Elon Musk or Joe Rogan, there is another incredibly important hero, however, who does not rise from his seat and call out. His name is exactly Luke Kale. Yesterday, yes, after all these elections, he called me straight from Katowice in Poland, where he is currently sitting. He congratulated me on a good campaign and wished me the best of luck in this election, the best possible results for me, as well as for all Republicans. In general, he was affected by a great tragedy that turned his life upside down. Despite the fact that I got to know him in the year 2017 in Hanover as a sympathetic, but also tough and confident guy, today he was his shadow. The man, crippled and devoid of faith in success, overcame a veritable odyssey to the nearest help, which, however, was not all that close. From Bakhmut all the way to Donetsk itself, he went through an unheard of ordeal just to get there, to survive, and to pass on his story just for people like me, who remembered him all the time. I don't want to dwell now on what a huge tragedy befell him, because they who knows will know. Alone, because his friends either died of unexplained causes or on the muddy Ukrainian front, or they are sitting far beyond the Urals collecting sticks and brushwood for the cold winter. However, I thank him a lot, and this is what I said to him during the conversation. He taught me a really important lesson, which until my last days of candidacy in the year 2020 was in my heart. And from this place, I thank him once again very much. May the world remember the great man and the great hero of Russia, as well as the whole world, Lukail Kalak.